Wrong way around in terms of... Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is so exciting. I'm just trying to get my phone working, tap myself so I look the right colour. Today we are discussing micro needling and it's something that I, you know how obsessed I am with it and how I feel it can really change a woman's skin texture more than any other thing you can do. Um, I have got here in the bathroom, we have got, you can scroll up Cecily because she's gonna, Cecily's new and she's um, coming on a Sunday to help me and she's going to be uh, pushing forward your questions. Now today, because I am just discussing microneedling, please be patient that I will not answer questions on other subjects today because there's so much to cover and it's going to be very exciting. Good morning, Yasmin. Good morning, Lindy. Good morning, Ali. Good morning, Will, Abby, Rosie, Samantha, Sadia. Good morning, everybody. And thank you for joining us. Um, there are going to be five fantastic micro needles and they start from an amazing incredible if you can afford it treat three months treatment which is 350 pounds down to an 11 pound amazon product that i rate so there is something for everybody and that's what's really important so i'm just going to tell you why i love it i started micro needling about probably four years ago but properly two years ago and I don't know how I discovered it. I think I was just, you know, sniffling about and thinking, what can I do that's more of a long-term project for my skin? And how can I get products to penetrate? Because we can spend all our money on expensive products. And then how can we get them to work twice as hard? And I feel that's what microneedling can do. Uh, because what it's doing basically is there's tiny, tiny little needles and we can get, I'm going to show you all the different sort of lengths, strengths and barrel capacities. And they sort of, very lightly just prick the skin. Um, hardly any of them would draw blood unless you're using a very deep needle. But what they'll do is allow product to absorb and they go, they're going into the skin and they're attacking the skin. And that's what makes our skin react and say, okay, oh, let's produce some collagen um, and get, it gets a firmer skin. So ladies who have jowls, who feel they've got a few lines, who feel that they might have some um, pigmentation, even melasma, but that is a hormone related pigmentation, so hard to break down, but sun damaged pigmentation, yes. Um, rosacea, you need to take advice because it's, you know, anything, anyone with an incredibly sensitive skin needs to take dermatological advice. I'm not a dermato dermatologist. So that's my kind of premise. Okay, am I speaking to the right place? Yes. yes, you got them there. Yes. I just, Cecily's in the bathtub. First time she's been there, so we need to get her comfortable. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so where am I going to start? I'm going to start with actually um, the past. There's two people who really incentivize me to, con to, to um, make this post today because I was waiting for enough people to bring out great micro needles. And Teresa Tame, who is a phenomenal facialist and has done for 20 years some of the most beautiful faces um, with laser and, and, and fit, great facials, brought out a range, a kit, a microneedling kit. And it's the most concise kit I've ever come across in terms of what it delivers to you at home. So I'm going to start with that one. Now it's spenny. It's £350, which is a big amount of money. But this is really a three month treatment at your home. So if you're the kind of person who does facials and goes to see a facialist once a month, if you maintain your skin that well, which is great, this is the same of cancelling those points and buying this. Um, and I think it's magnificent. And what's good about it is it's going to show us all the different parts of a regime that you need to do to microneedle. And then I'm going to show you ways you can do that less expensively if, if this um, product, which for some people will be way too much money. Um, but, okay, let's start. So, oh, this, it just makes my day to be in my bathroom to be doing this. So Teresa's kit comes in this magnificent box and it's got lots of things in it. So it has in it a um, lactic acid toner okay and that lactic acid toner I, i'm showing it all to you there oh shit and it's dropped out of the box hold on let me just let me just put it back there so you can see what the different things are there so the lactic acid toner is a product that you're going to put on before and you put on sort of six or eight drops of this it sends to skin wash it off before you start the treatment but basically it's got in it ferment filtrate which is an antry 
mi microbiome. It sort of gives you protection and conditions your skin. It's got stable vitamin C, great antioxidant, stimulate your um, collagen production even more. And then it has allantoin, which is, it sort of soothes and softens your skin. So these are all things that you need to do while, before you're doing it. So you're on a thoroughly cleansed, cleansed face. So let me actually thoroughly cleanse my face. And for this, for the first time ever, hold on, let me just get the right one, because I'm just not there. I'm just gonna clean my skin with a really simple cleanser. I have to choose the one which, of course, has the um, thing on it. I can take questions, Cecily, now. Right, okay, okay so Melanie yeah. has come forward and said, um, how many times per week do you microneedle? I personally microneedle um, twice a week. Now, some people might suggest once a week. Um, it depends how sensitive your skin is. Uh, it depends if you've got some, um, you know, skin issues. So to be on the safe side, if you've never done this before, start once a week and then you can see if you build up. So I'm using now um, this little cleanser. It's got a tiny bit of glycolic in it from Julia Hunter. All the products are back front, but I will put everything tomorrow on the blog. And I'm just gonna do a little foreo. Other questions is fine. I okay, great. Now. So if Kathy's come and said, is it okay to micro, micro needle over acne? I think, I think it is, and I think it can help, but when you have any spots, you have to be unbelievably careful about how you clean that needle, because if you have any bacteria, it could spread it. So I would say really potent pussy spots, I wouldn't microneedle, but if you've got milia, it can be quite a good thing to sort of break down the milia. So it depends the kind of spot. So we're gonna start off um, on this four to six drops of her lactic peel. And I've got some other peels that you can also try uh, to use for other needles if you couldn't afford this range. So I'm taking four to six drops, there we go. And what this is going to do is just really prep the skin um, for putting the needles in. If you have very sensitive skin, put this on, leave it on for you know, two minutes, three minutes, and then wash it off. And if you don't have sensitive skin, you can just do this straight away. All right, so I'll put that on. Let it just penetrate. There we go. And this needle, let me I'll talk you through her needle. Where's her needle? There's her needle, sorry. Let me, oh, no, I've lost her needle. One second. Where's her needle? There's Nanette's needle. I've got so many needles here. I've now got to find her needle. Where is it gone? Help me, help me, this would be, yes, is that it? Yeah. Yes, okay. So, this needle, there it is, from um, Teresa, is, um, they all have different sizes, and I'm just gonna do this in detail, because I had to write it down. Um, where are we? We don't have the needle, we do have the needle information here somewhere, let me just see. Where do I have the needle? Darling, do you remember we had how yes. many barrels there are on this needle? Sorry, I just need to get there because I've got there's so much information here. No, top, top. Top? Top, and it's, you want to be looking at the dermal roller section. There. Yes, I've got it, thank you. Okay, this is her dermal roller. Now, people have different views on, um, on how long the needle should be and how many needles should be on the barrel. And all the people I'm gonna um, talk about today have different views on that. So. Teresa's um, needles are 0 0.2 ml. That's very little. It means it's going to be really gentle and there's 162 needles. So they're spaced out fewer, which to me has more penetration and you feel it more. If there's more needles on the barrel, you feel it less because one goes to the other quicker. So even though it's a low needle length, there's fewer needles on the barrel, so that balances things out. Now there's a technique for microneedling, which you must really be careful to do. And that's what I call my, well, everybody has a different one, but this is a feathering technique. So when you start, start on the easiest part of your skin, which is usually the cheek, and you just go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and just cover. You don't have to press very hard. So imagine there's my hand and I'm going like that. All right, so I'm gently pressing. 
you don't draw blood on this needle. The needle, after three months of use, you throw away. So this is, any needle will get blunt, and I would say three months use is the maximum use. In Teresa's mind, three months use is 12 goes. Is it 12 goes? Um, twice a week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, nine. 16 goes, sorry, 16. I can't do my maths, but work it out. She's saying once or twice a week for three months. So this is stimulating your collagen. It's going in, it doesn't really hurt. It, my skin will go a little bit red, but I just keep that feathering. You can go relatively close to the eye, but don't go right up to the eye and go gently around the eye area, very gently around the eye area. Areas where you have blockages, like on your nose, it's really good to do because anyone who has open pores or who has blackheads, I go into the nose and give it a bit of stimulation because however clean we keep our face, our nose can get into trouble because there's so many little crevices that we don't get to. So really go around there and do those bits. I'm gonna go the other side now. In fact, I can do the other side with another needle. So. I'm finishing off here. Any other questions, um, yes. darling? Yes, okay, so Sarah says, morning, my mum is 70. Can she start now with microneedling and using retinol slash BHA products? It's never too late to start. It's never too late to start, darling. And you know, it's not about age, it's about the condition of your skin. For all we know, your mother could have incredible skin age 70 and a lady of 30 could have very sun damaged skin. It's just an attitude. So if you think at 70, hey, I think I should start doing something. It's never too late. The lines are there, yes, but you can stimulate your skin. You can give it plumpness. You can look after it. You can feel that you're spending a bit of time and energy on yourself. Um, and I think that's what's important. So I'm just doing my forehead. Some people might have a slightly more lined forehead. And if you do, I think a forehead is a place you can go a little bit firmer but I have very thin skin on my forehead, so I actually go the same pressure. And I also do this, not to be recommended for everybody, but I talk a little bit about the sagging under the eyes. And quite a few of these microneedle things say don't use around the eyes, but I do use it on the eyebrow, because I think that can stimulate my eyebrow. And I'll be gentle, but I'm just going on that softer skin, because I don't want that skin to become really saggy and affect how I put on eye makeup and how tired my skin looks in the morning. So I will do that um, and back and forth and back and forth. All right, so now that's hers. And then what she recommends afterwards is, oh shit, you know what I did wrong? I'm gonna do this again, because I'm just, <coughs> I do this a different way from Teresa. Teresa's step one is to prep your skin with the lactic. Step two is to use this product. I'm doing it the wrong way around, but that's how I do it, which is to put on her peptide and you put half the bottle onto your skin, don't massage. So I'm gonna just pop it out there. Hang on, I don't know what half the bottle is. So I'm gonna go in and do some drops. Oh, one second, there we go. Do some more drops. Some people like a product in on your skin first and then when you put the micro needle in, it goes in more. I like to actually do before and after. But this peptide is a very good peptide and it contains, um, hang on, now I think I've got about half. It contains a chemical which retains moisture, soy protein, which is a plant derivative protein, that will moisturize and provide anti-irritant. So if any of you have irritated skin, this is actually very good to put on beforehand. A mulberry concentrate. Mulberry is incredibly good. It's a plant extract and it improves elasticity to your skin and regenerative. And B3, which is a sort of illuminator. So I'm gonna put that on like that, there. And then I might go again and do a quick little crisscrossing. So Teresa's technique is to put on the lactic acid, then put on half the peptide from the bottle and then do the needling. All right, that's her technique. I would also say above your lip line, any of you who have lip lines and you might not be a smoker to have lip lines, I think if you really, it really irritates you, I would do this every other night, gently, but just stimulate that. And I stimulate tiny bit the lip too. 
very gently, but this is what I do, all right? This is a 0 0.2, don't forget, it's not high at all. Higher it gets, the more gentle you must be. But I'm continuing that crisscrossing. This is a very good peptide, can I just say? I can really feel how good that product is. Um, okay, yes, there we go. Now, she has a massage tool, which I haven't used yet, but I'm just gonna show you. Rather phallic looking, heavy gold-ish. Um, but you can use that to really massage and bring your cheekbone up. It's a very nice tool. There's a lot of tools on the market that do things like this. There's the jade, well, it's not jade, it calls itself jade, but it's a stone one. The peptide is making my skin a tiny bit sticky, so it pulls up the skin as it's massaging. And I think when you use tools and you're putting a, a product on beforehand, if it's too slippery, like an oil, you have to have a different kind of tool. So I quite like the way this is slightly sticky. All right, there we go. Okay, and then you could just do here a bit, just rubbing it in, rubbing, rubbing in that peptide, rubbing it in, rubbing it in, there, okay? And I'm pushing my skin up, there. It's a good tool, I like this tool. I like this tool a lot, because it's different from my dermal roller. Um, all right, so that's that. Now, there is a next stage for her routine, which is a mask, but I'm gonna end with that, because in the meantime, I'm gonna just talk you through some other um, micro needles that are really good and that are the different prices. So next up, Nanette de Gaspé, Nanette de Gaspé, who does those phenomenal masks that are my favorite sheet masks in the world, her face visage. She is the inventor of a special um, delivery system to impregnate the strongest quality ingredients into a sheet mask, and Charlotte Tilbury used her technology to do that. Um, Nanette de Gaspé has the most expensive, beautiful mask on the market. This is 85 pounds, you can use it three times. But if you have a special occasion, to me there is no better mask. You can go and have a one and a half hour facial and this mask will give you a better result. But she's bringing out Mr. Gaspé in February, which are a cheaper version of this. Um, so just so you know, I wanted to, I don't want to cop that. But she brought out a, um, a needle and she has a similar philosophy and her needle is, where is it? Oh wait, no, I was gonna go, to... well, I just go here. Nanette de Gaspé, 35 pounds. It's just the needle. It's titanium needles, and she, like Theresa Tame, believes that it should have 192 needles. So there's less needles on the barrel. Hers is 0 0.3, um, so it's a little bit deeper. And when I put that on, if I compare it to Theresa's, I feel more of a pinprick. I feel weirdly they're thinner needles. I don't know if they are because she hasn't done the thinness of the needle. But it's a very good um, needle. I really like it. And Nanette's treatment for her, the way that the, her philosophy of how you use this is you would clean your skin, you would put on, you would do the needle, and then you'd put on her mask. So she believes the other way around. A product goes post treatment. Um, but I trust Nanette de Gaspé because. I um, have met her, this comes out, she, she, she brought me this needle because I really rate her and some, some women who I think are phenomenal in the beauty industry, I reached out to and I reached out to her because I want to say to her, your mask is amazing, I have to just tell you. So um, then I met her, so she's let me have one early, which is very unusual for me because I don't have any relationship with people directly, but I wanted to try it so badly and I really like it. I can just feel the quality of the needle. So that's Nanette de Gaspé, 35 pounds. All right, I will be so needled out by the end of this. Any other questions? Yes, so Annalise is saying, what time of day is best to microneedle, morning or evening? I prefer microneedling at night because I think that you're going to be using some products and if you, you've got to think what is your condition that you want to, um, what you want to put in after your microneedling. So if your condition is you've got pigmentation, I'm gonna go through products afterwards for specific conditions to do post microneedling, but I do my microneedling at night and then I seal in with some an amazing product and I wake up in the morning and, and whenever I have, you know, come to do a live in the morning um, and you might all say your skin's looking so good, that's always the night after I've done a microneedling, for sure. 
Um, I'm now going to go on to Glam. Is it called Glam? Glow Pro. Glow Pro. Glow Pro. Glow Pro. Where are you, Glow Pro? There's so many here. Sorry, I want to get them all right. So, um, Glow Pro is one of the second needles that I used, and it comes with um, a little red light, a little infrared light like that. Um, now, what's interesting about this is the man who kind of 10 years ago invented the concept of microneedling, Dr. James, um, is the man responsible for this roller. So you could kind of say this is the expert's roller, but I think it's an important point. This roller is £199. It's not cheap at all, but it comes with, and I think I've got them here somewhere. Do I have them here? It comes with some, yes, here. It comes with a lip one and an eye one. So there's a whole kind of regime and it comes with a, a cleanser, um, I'm, you know, to clean the, the roller. Um, so this is slightly, this is still 0 0.3, but there are many more needles to this. There's 540. So I feel it's less likely that you might mistakenly damage your skin because the more needles there are on the barrel, the more you can't make a mistake, all right? The less professional you might feel about your skin is the person to use this, because I can go round and round. But where this is a phenomenal needle, and this is what I've used it for, the red light is slightly cosmetic, because to have a red light, LED light, on something, uh, you'd need to hold it on your skin for at least 10 minutes to have any effect of that red light, which is a sort of healing light. But when I've had very bad spots, hormonal spots on my chin, the ones that come up and they throb and you know they won't become a big white head and you can pussy get rid of them, but they're there and you feel them and they're uncomfortable and they affect the profile of your face, you know, that kind of spot. This is a miracle worker because what I do, so I sit in front of the telly and I do this on the spot. So I keep that light on the same place and I just do this and I just keep it on there like that, gently, not pressing in hard, for 10 minutes minimum. The next day, that spot heals twice as fast as if I hadn't done it. So for anyone suffering for, from hormonal acne or spots generally, this is a fantastic one to do. But those kind of spots are the ones where the bacteria is under the skin. It's not above the skin. So if you do use it with spots, you've got to be so careful. It comes with a cleaner. Some of them come with a cleaner and some don't. If they don't come with a cleaner, use surgical spirit. But that is a sanitizer and you spray it and it cleans it. Um, and um, Teresa Tames comes with a roller cleaner, which you buy, I think it comes with it or you buy separately, I'm not sure. Do use them. Um, but the Glow Pro, can you see it glides on? Um, I like the fact it's founded by um, Dr. James. I like the fact that he did invent the microneedling. People have innovated it since, but there's something good about that science. My skin is so bright, Trini. Really. What's the best tips, skin brightening tips? I'm going to show you. Skin brightening is about products penetrating and microneedling followed by a vitamin C serum, a really good one, is going to help you do that. So that's the Glow Pro. Glow Pro, Glow Pro, Glow Pro, we love that. Okay, now I'm gonna go on to um, Swiss Clinics. And what's really interesting about the Swiss Clinics range is that it does different needles. It does a 0 0.2, which is for, you know, newbies. It does a 0 0.5, which is for people who've done it before, I think, or, or tough skin. Let me just see here. One second. Um, yes, this is interesting. This is interesting. So the 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 have 540 needles. So that's similar to Mr. Glam Pro, Glow Pro. But this is the baby I love. So the other ones are, are, quite, are quite similar to um, Glow Pro. They have a body one. The body one is one point, and this has 12, no, the 0 0.5, sorry, 0 0.5, I thought it was one point always. 0 0.5, it is 0 0.5 because legally in England, without a prescription, you cannot go higher, that's why. But it has more needles, it has 1,200 needles. Surgical steel, not titanium. Hands, ladies, how many of you put hand cream on your skin? I have quite thin skin on my hands, but you do this gently, crisscross motion, don't forget, 
and also I can do it on the flabby bit here of my arm and then put afterwards a retinol or a vitamin A. It might seem extravagant, but some people have a bet noir about their hands and their decollete, and I would use it for this. And saggy knees, very good for saggy knees. But just go over and you'll see, especially around, you know, when we get little lines around um, where we bend our wrists, it's very good for that. And I would do that twice. I do it twice. We go to Sunday. I always have a Sunday micro needling ritual and then I'll do it other days as well. Okay, so that's that one. Now, last off, I'm going to give you the one I really rate, which I've now lost. Certainly, hang on. Are there any other questions whilst I'm looking for it? We're just yes. out of battery, so we're just going to... Oh, out of battery. Off. Okay, out of battery. So, ZGTS. This is your Amazon special. It's £11.89. There are many on Amazon and there are many you shouldn't be buying on Amazon. But this one I really do rate. Here it comes out of its little like that. Um, and it's got on it, um, it's got 192 needles and it's 0 0.5. So this is quite, this is like, um, this is like Nanette's, but it's a deeper needle. So it's quite deep, 0 0.5. I think you need to know what you're doing. It's titanium. And when I put it on, it's more prickly. It feels more prickly because there's fewer needles around the barrel. You're going to penetrate more because it's not sliding across your skin. It's going in a bit more. This is a decent um, micro needle. The, you know, it's plastic here, but where it's important that it has a bit of titanium is in the needle. So this is about presentation and packaging. Okay, there. And just remember that crisscrossing. I've crisscrossed myself to hell now. So let's say you've done that. What are you going to put on next? You've prepped your skin, you've cleaned your face, you've done the micro needling. If you are with the Teresa Tame family, you will put the peptide on first and then you'll do some microneedling. Other people might suggest, like myself, that you could put something on, do some microneedling, and then put something on again. So if you're with Teresa, she's gonna say, put on this mask, which I'm gonna get for you. Because her packaging includes many things. In the bottom, hang on, let me just show you. In the bottom of that wonderful box, there is a mask and there's Look at that, it looks like something goes up one's bottom. A hyaluronic, um, pure hyaluronic. So with the mask, I'm gonna put that on now. Um, there we go, and this mask is, I'll tell you what's in this mask. So how do we put this mask on? Um, the silicone mask, don't wash FX product, apply mask. So I'm going to, in fact, you know what, I'm gonna apply a few more of the peptides. A few more of the peptides, where are the peptides? I'm just going to apply a few more because I feel I want to get those peptides in my system. Come on, come out the bottle. I'm now being a bit <laughs> over adventurous. I've got to use the stopper and I don't <coughs> want to. Still got that bloody cough. So irritating. Any questions, darling? Yes, we do. Yes. Okay. So people are coming forward and saying, like, Shelley, how long do the rollers last for? Do they, do they ever become blunt? Yes, they do. Are? Very good question. I'm putting on a bit of that peptide. So I think that the longest you should have a micro needle in your bathroom is three months. If you use it every couple of weeks, I mean, every um, twice a week. I'm gonna put the silicone mask on now. I don't know what the silicone mask gonna do. We're gonna do Hang on, I can't even see my eyes. There's my eyes. There we go. Okay. There, so that goes on. And it didn't go on with hyaluronic, but anyway. This is a reusable mask and it's sort of just going to hold everything in place. And then what Teresa believes, and now I'll go on to the next one, is that a couple of days later, your skin might get dry. Now, I don't have that as an issue. or well, I don't notice it, maybe because I use so many products on my face. But in that being the case, here is the hyaluronic. And you use, let me just tell you how much you use of this. One third of a syringe. Oh, into the silicone mask. I knew that was a the thing there. I'm gonna do that now. Sorry. I'm gonna do a third of the syringe into the silicone mask. I'm gonna use it now. So you can use it that day or, huh? <laughs> excuse me, Teresa, that day or another day. So I'm gonna put it in my forehead a bit there. 
one third. I'm so bad about the amount of one third. Okay, it's like, that's what, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what I'm doing, <laughs> sorry. This is really gonna go to pot. Okay, and I'll put it on again. There. So I got the hyaluronic inside, silicone mask there. So I'm just gonna rub it all underneath. Rub it all. Oh. I knew that something should go inside that because it's just silicone. And too many people are asking, why is hyaluronic acid good for you? Hyaluronic acid. There's a thing about hyaluronic acid, ladies, which is that you kind of have, um, sorry, I'm just trying to get here one thing, I just found that one. Okay, so, um, it just gives you hydration and softens your skin. So it kind of makes things illuminous and plump. Uh, it's a ingredient in a way we have naturally we our, our skin contains hyaluronic acid so this hyaluronic acid that you can buy is mimicking what our skin already does and might not do as well as it used to do so i'm going to take you now through the products you can use post needling okay they're all on my loo here so now product number one is to do your microneedling and then use a mask. So there's two masks. One mask is an Annette de Gaspé, which she has lots of different ones, but her face one to me is fantastic. There is a mask here, which is a hyaluronic mask, um, which is by Star Skin Pro. And that's quite a good one to do after microneedling. Um, then there is a serum. So if your big concern is wrinkles, then you could decide to use some retinol. And there's different types of retinol that I like. I have used retinol many years ago. I used Retin-A, which is the kind of original form of what people call retinols loosely. And I used it uh, in a yellow tube. It was prescription only and it was 1% quite strong. And it was used to help dry my skin out from acne. And it did work. It's, it's actually very good for acne. Um, and there have been many um, more commercial types of retin, retin-A, retinol, retinol palmitate, all these different configurations. But there's a few that are good. I don't have the nag here, do I? Neostrata nag, very good, which I haven't got here, I just realized. Paula's Choice, here we go, Paula's Choice. Paula's Choice, a great brand. And the lady who found, hang on, let me just put it up there. The lady who founded it um, suffered from eczema, eczema, acne. And so she did a lot of research on it. It's got peptides in it and retinol. And it's got licorice root. And licorice root, I think, if I remember, evens out your skin tone. Um, and so that's kind of a nice mixture of things in it. So I would consider that as a choice. Next up, we have super Hang on, let me put it there. Can you see it? Super Retinol. There you go. Super Retinol is by Beauty Pie. And, be and this is 75 pounds. Beauty Pie is a company that it's kind of, you join it and you can then get discounts on products and you become a member. But it has very good ingredients. So it has retinol in it. It has Ficusel Vita, which is an antioxidant. Vitamin C for skin renewal. Ferulic acid, which is an antioxidant, and hyaluronic acid, which retains the moisture. So I love the combination because there's, you know, that sort of many things in that product. And if there's one product you're going to use at night, this is a really interesting product to use. And I and I rate it. Um, is it the same effect, Carolina, as mazotherapy? Well, mazotherapy is a, a little gun and it goes in and it pricks your skin. And it's they're all similar. It's like. PRP, the Dracula facial, is a similar process because a lot of these processes are getting a needle, gently piercing your skin or, or shocking your skin a bit, and they make your skin make an effort and wake up and say, I'll produce some collagen. Uh, so that's what they're doing. Um, okay, another one, if you suffer from pigmentation um, and you want to try and work on that, then DCL, Night Booster is an incredibly good nighttime vitamin C product. And DCL, this is 58 pounds, Cult Beauty. It's got also in it um, salicylic acid. Um, no, sorry, I'm going absolutely mad. Sorry, I'm reading wrong thing. I knew it was more, it's 108 pounds. Asorbic acid, grapefruit peel. Um, and it's a very good vitamin C. Okay, 
It could be that you want to do a um, peel pre doing the needling. So when we started Teresa Tame's one, she started with a lactic peel. And if you want to start with a different peel and your skin really is ready for this, because you've got to be, you can't be sensitive skin person. So sensitive skin people look away, then you could go with that, which is the ordinary. And this is the ordinary's um, ACA peel, of hydroxy acid peel. And you could do a tiny bit of that and then um, go on to do your um, needling. Um, if you want to have hyaluronic afterwards and pour it on and you use one of the less expensive needles, you could consider this product, which is Niod. And this is their non-invasive, their, their sort of uh, the ordinary's uh, older sister. And this has um, 15 forms of hyaluronic compounds and 1% of direct hyaluronic acid, which is really unusual. Water hydration illuminates the skin, etc. I put that there properly. There we go. All right. Um, what else might you want to do? Okay. Let's say you just want to have a lovely healing time with your skin. One of my favorites. Vintner's Daughter. There we go. Vintner's Daughter. This is a kind of very active botanical serum. It's got avocado oil in it, hazelnut oil in it, grape seed, which is antioxidant. And it's just gives you, just makes your skin feel great. It's one of my favorite products. So, and um, yeah, is that about it? Is that about anything else? Yes, another alternative that you could just clean your skin with before you start the treatment, which I got out of Caroline Huron's beauty box, is the DCL um, acid peel pads and they contain, um, let me just see what, that's the one, they contain sorbic acid, grapefruit, sorry, I'm gonna start again, salicylic, lactic, phytic, mandelic acid. So those are ones that treat acne, the man mandelic treats acne, the lactic helps spots and wrinkles, the salicylic unclogs pores and exfoliates. So in a way, if you do that before you put on your, before you do your, um, Micro needling, you're gonna have your skin incredibly well prepped. So that's kind of it. My bathroom is awash with products. There is, I think, let's to recap, top of the range, three month treatment, Teresa Tame. I think it's worth it. I think it's actually weird, I'm gonna say this, I think it's underpriced because you get an amazing tool. You get 12, um, you, 12 goes of the fantastic peptide you get um, the hyaluronic syringes, you get the needle, and she has a very specific um, booklet, so I think it's brilliant, really, really brilliant. If you think you're going to have money at a facialist, do this instead. Um, I think that Glam Pro, Glow Pro, whatever it's called, um, Glam Glow, what am I calling it? Oh, I always get the name wrong, I always call it Glow Pro, is really good because I love the red light that if you keep it on for 10 minutes, it does actually help spots. Um, the one from Amazon is good for £11, and just maybe if you feel you're on a budget, you could buy that one, but use a really good product, spend your money on a product afterwards to, to help your skin. Okay, ladies, um, what do I think about the Derma Pen? I had the Derma Pen um, last week with Teresa. I tried it, I like it. Microneedling the Derma Pen have quite a lot in common. Uh, the Derma Pen is just a more professional way of, of, of going and. and d -d 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 with those needles so I think it's a good treatment you need to be with somebody who knows how to do it Lynn all the prices will be up later on the blog on tea time at Trini London and that will include all the uh, micro needles and all the products that I have mentioned um, hello darling sorry any products post needling sensitive skin sensitive skin post needling let me go to my sensitive skin we had a sensitive skin one we just did didn't we um, where, sorry girls, hold on a second, I have emergency, this is called my emergency box, so if you have sensitive skin, you can put on silver shield, that's very good, you can put on um, La Roche-Posay, um, you can put on silver, colloidal silver, um, and then I have another one here which isn't in this box, um, but you could even put on some, you know, um, Dermacare, which is just your boots. Um, is that Dermacare? Oh, hang on. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. 
I was trying to find you another one, which is a great um, product for sensitive skin, and I haven't got it. I got it from Victoria Health. Uh, any other questions? Yeah, so quite a few questions coming in about can you microneedle the neck and the body? So can. I forgot to do the neck. When you do the neck, and um, I would suggest don't do the neck with the body one. Do it with the face one. Let me just get to you one of the needles. I'll get in the neck. So when I do the neck, I just do up and down. The neck is actually one of the most important places. It's one of the most uncomfortable places to microneedle because... It's very sensitive, the neck, but if you really focus on little bits, tightening up here, so if any of you have that little chicken cock, 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 this will help slightly tighten up the skin. Don't go mad, build it up slowly. Remember to feather, like that. There we go. Okay, very good for the neck. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna take off Teresa's mask, which I presume is washable. I'm going to take that hyaluronic and just rub it in. I've probably taken too much. That's me, I've taken too much. In fact, I'm gonna get her little, I'm gonna get her little tool again and just do a little tooling, pushing it in, pushing it in. I could become quite addicted to this tool actually. I like it, I like the way it spreads out because my, I usually use, as you know, another tool, which is my dermal Stimulo from Jean Philbert. But for the sake of pushing product in, I could become addicted to this. Other questions, darling? Yeah, Trini, can you put vitamin C on post microneedling? I can, darling. The um, one I recommend at night, if skin pigmentation is your issue, is the DCL, um, because it has a really great content of vitamin C night booster. You could also put on the CE for Lyric from SkinCeuticals. You could put on a vitamin C powder with your night cream. So it will just allow that vitamin C product, which is gonna help with pigmentation, evening out skin tone, to work even harder. I'm going, oh, here, look, it's really good for stimulating around the lip area. I bloody love this product. I'm gonna take it to Japan. Ladies, next week, I'm going to be, on Saturday, going to Japan. My God, I'm building up now my airplane routine. So next Sunday, you'll probably get my airplane um, one and I won't do it live. I'll have to do it on the plane and then somehow from Japan upload it when I get to the hotel and show you what I do on the plane. But I might do a little bit from, um, from Instagram. And then that hyaluronic has really gone in now. Hyaluronic by nature feels a bit sticky at the end of its penetration. I could have done, done a bit too much. Let me just take one. I think I put way too much on. Okay, ah, there we go. There's my skin. And you can see I've done a little bit of her roller, but it's plumping, 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 feeling good. And if you did happen to do this during the day, you know, you do it day or night, but I prefer night, you can go out afterwards and put some product on. So I could just literally now put a little bit of, I would put some moisturizer on actually. Let me see. Oh, I'm loving. Hang on, let me just put this on. I love this moisturiser. Night Duty. Oh, no. I'm going to put Romilly Wild. My favourites at the moment. Any other pro uh, questions, darling? Yes, they're saying, what product should you avoid after microneedling? Interesting. Um, I would avoid putting on uh, any peel afterwards or anything really strong because your skin is a bit sensitive and you just need to be aware of that and not be rough with your skin. So, you know, if I'm indulging, I'd put Sizzlia, sort of nice nurturing cream on after. But when I'm wanting to really do a treatment, I'll put on the retinols and things. So it depends on your skin sensitivity. But we've listed some that you can use. Okay, there, I'm done with that. I'm gonna now do, take my hair down, getting ready for lunch today. Hello, lady. I think the effects, um, I find some of the effects immediate. Because, well, not immediate, but like, well, immediate now, if you look at my skin now, it just feels quite alive and well. But the next day, if I've done this, as I said at the beginning, I will then notice that my skin is really glowy and plumped. So I think if you could find a treatment that is going to give an immediate effect to you, 24 hours, 
24 hours and you're done. Okay, I'm not gonna actually, I put on a tiny bit of BFF because I've used products which are sun sensitive creation. It's sunny today in London, even though it's winter. So I've put on my SPF 30. Um, and now I'm just going to do a quick little, because I've got Lila on the other end of the phone. Um, and she's gonna call and call and call until I answer. <sighs> Any other questions as I put on my lip? Um, you are asking, should you have to clean the dermal roller? Yes, clean the dermal roller in between each treatment. Um, and I have got lots of them come with a cleaner like that. If you don't have one that comes with a cleaner, then just use some surgical spirit and that should be fine. So I'm trying to look for, oh, there we go. I'm just gonna use Talis today. Any other questions? We are asking, hold on, bear with me two seconds. Okay, there we go. And then I'll do a little bit of, uh, what shall I do, a little, a little bit of brow. And I've just been growing my eyelashes next week. I'm going to be getting my, um, a few eyelashes put on. Cause when I go to Japan, I think I just want to not bother with mascara. So um, they're coming back. Mm. There we go. Let me just see. I've got to say the skin does feel, feels good. This is a treatment ladies. If you have never done micro needling, I can't say how much I recommend it. If you have sensitive skin, go really gently. Start with a needle with the lowest, like a 0 0.2. Be gentle on your skin. You only have one skin. And if you're used to doing lots of quite strong products, go for it. You could do a 0 0.5 needle and just see the difference. You really will see the difference. All my recommendations are not from a dermatologist or a doctor. They're my own personal choices. And especially in something like this, which is, which is a little bit invasive, I want to make that very clear. But um, I'd love you to come back with your feedback if you try some of these and let me know how you're getting on. Have a wonderful Sunday, ladies. Bye.